Welcome, welcome, welcome to This Week Today. I'm Neil A.M. Thank you so much for joining us. Just time for a quick recap of the week, and it has been a busy one. Last Tuesday, the state of Missouri, best known for its state of misery, executed Marcellus Williams despite prosecutors' push to overturn the conviction. Williams' attorneys had filed many appeals based on what they said was new evidence, including alleged bias in jury selection and contamination of the murder weapon before the trial. Even the victim's family had asked that Williams not be executed. On Thursday, Oklahoma executed Emmanuel Littlejohn by lethal injection despite conflicting evidence regarding his guilt. Littlejohn was prosecuted by former Oklahoma County District Attorney Bob Macy, who secured 54 death sentences during his more than 20 years in office. The Republican governor of, the o of Oklahoma, Kevin Stitt, declined clemency, which refers to executive powers governors have that can be used to reduce a criminal sentence. Stitt was asked to give Littlejohn life in prison without the possibility of parole instead of death, but denied the appeal. Meanwhile, in the state of New York, New York City Mayor Eric Adams is the first mayor in U.S. history to face federal charges after being indicted for taking bribes and foreign campaign donations. The criminal indictment against him focuses on trips he took to Turkey, India, and Ghana on Turkish airlines, as well as campaign donations made by Turkish officials. More on this story as it unfolds. And now, as promised, a look at the vice presidential debate between Walls and Vance. Come on, show me the drama, the chair throwing, the insulting each other's mothers. First of all, Governor, I agree with you. Much of what the senator said right there, I'm in agreement with him on this. T Tim just said something that I agree with, and, and I, I'm going to thank Senator Vance, I think this is the conversation they want to hear. No! Why are you acting like civilized politicians and using the debate to foster open-mindedness, critical thinking, and effective communication skills? At least tell me they had a heated staring contest after the debate. Very civilized, very demure, very mindful. Anyway, on Tuesday, November 5th, the United States will either choose the first female and the first female person of color as its commander-in-chief, or it will be the second time in U.S. history that a president will win two non-consecutive elections. The last time was when Grover Cleveland served as the 22nd and the 24th president. Either way, if you can vote, vote. It's important you vote. Register to vote and vote early by mail if you choose, but vote. In closing, a tribute to Dame Maggie Smith. The world lost a true gem last week. The world full of babbling, bumbling band of baboons. That's this week today for today. I'll see you next week. Good day.